This is MSR's Elixir 2 backpacking tent. As much or little as you want, and then you can roll it up and neatly stash it away. So now we're going to talk about closed cell phone mattresses. Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to be discussing a Norwegian brand of products named Devold. Today I'm just going to be going through some of their products and telling you guys how I feel about them personally when I put them on. One thing that I think everybody wants from a base layer in specific is for it to be comfortable against your skin and for it to be cozy against your body. Now this one fulfills all that criteria. Currently for reference I'm 6 feet tall and I'm wearing an XL and it fits great against my body and it's really light and just comfortable. I think that's the main thing anybody would want out of a base layer and this fulfills all that. Not only that, but I feel like the branding here, there's branding here and on the sleeve, it gives the base layer more personality to them that some other ones lack, I believe, and I feel like it gives it a bit of flair if you're going for a more stylized approach to it. The next product I'm going to be discussing is right here on my head. This is the Nansen cap. I'm currently wearing a size 58 of it right now. One thing to note about this hat is just how big it is, meaning it's really warm on your head. And it covers, it covers a lot because this also comes down like so. So if you want even more warmth, you can wear it in unique ways. And I feel like that's important because it gives you options when it comes to wearing it. Now, for some heads, I can understand why the material here would make it a bit itchy on your head. I personally think that it's great for being really warm. However, if you want something a bit lighter, we have this hat right here. This would be the Skolma beanie. This one is a lot lighter and also the interior material is way softer against your head. So it fits a lot better, it fits a lot more tighter and is lighter compared to that one, except this one's better for everyday use, I believe. The other one might be for more colder situations, but either way, you're guaranteed to get warmth out of it. And to give you a full view, here's a 360 of what I'm wearing, and I'll stop at the back here, and the length. Now, it is a bit longer on me because this is an XL, but you can adjust it for your height, weight, and whatnot. The next product I'm going to be discussing is this large Nansen crew neck sweater. One thing I can say from the get-go about this sweater is it is super warm. And with the way it looks and feels, I feel like you could wear this anywhere, really. You could wear this in a cabin or outside under a jacket. Depending on how much warmth you need, this will be there for you. Now, I understand that why most wouldn't want to wear this on without anything underneath, as it is itchy on skin. However, I have a base layer that I was wearing earlier on currently, you can use that to pretty much fight against that itch and you will just be warm without any side effects. Anyway. I also feel like the neck here adds a bit of style to it. While not absolutely necessary, it gives it, it makes it stand out, I believe, from other sweaters like this. One thing also to mention is again, the patch will also add a bit of flair to this and give it an identity. Anyways, I'll give you all 360 of this sweater. Back. Again, you can pull it down, it's a bit longer. Kind of a loose fit, but it's um, great and you can move around and it's still freely. The next one we'll be talking about is this Merino jacket sweater. Now, the term jacket sweater I think is pretty accurate considering that this is super warm while also looking like a sweater. I mean, it also has this hoodie here. This is adds the sweater quality to it. It's really like the sweater I showed earlier. I feel like you could wear this at home or underneath a jacket outside. It really is, you can pretty much wear it anywhere. One thing to also note that I'm noticing right now is the extra padding on the sleeves here. I, I guess what, the, what this would be useful for is if you want to tuck your hands in if you're a bit cold, it really is comfortable against your hands. And it's just comfortable against the wrist when you pull it down too. And everything else is a bit thinner than this, but it's a really interesting quality that this sweater has. Again, to mention, it has other standard stuff such as pockets, um, decently sizable pockets. You could fit a phone in here, or just something of the sort. And that is about it when it comes to this sweater. 
Something else to mention about this sweater is also the very soft interior alongside these little mesh pockets. It really gives off the jacket side of the sweater as most jackets have pockets like this except here it's in a sweater which makes it very unique. Now I'm going to give you guys a 360 of this little sweater jacket like so. I would definitely recommend this one due to how comfortable it is and how snug it is. In conclusion, these Devold set of products are really nice and I feel like they're all worth checking out as I think they do their job, they keep you warm, and they're still comfortable despite that. Anyways, please feel free to let us know what you think of the Devold product and smash that like button. Thank you so much for watching guys and we'll see you next time.